Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking echo text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to create here is a new composition. So I'm just gonna go with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's press OK. Once you have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our text layer. So I'm just writing my word in there. I'm going to my character settings. I'm using Mission Gothic font. The link will be in the description. Um, and I've made it all caps. Once you're happy with that, all you have to do is just go to a line and center it to the center of that composition. So I've made sure that my writing is all in white and we'll change the color a little bit later so once i have that then what i need to do is i need to open up my text uh, properties over here and we're going to add a scale animation property over here to that text layer so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to set the scale to zero and then i'm going to open up the range selector and i'm going to hit that stopwatch for start and i'm going to move forward to about two seconds and then i'm going to set that to 100 percent so if you see what happens there we have a very simple animation that looks something like that cool so now once we have that i'm just going to click off that layer and i'm going to add another position uh, property to animate and i'm going to add a wiggly selector so now that i have that wiggly selector put in i'm going to animate the min and max amount and so I'm just gonna hit that stopwatch, go to two seconds, and then set them both to zero. And so now we still have that similar animation, but once I add this position, and let's say we add, we put it to about 5,000, and you can see what will actually happen. So now we've got all this like, you know, wiggly stuff happening from that wiggly selector. So we're just gonna play around with that. We can drop the wiggles per second to zero, and then we can also change the random seed. We can bump that up to about, let's say 14 or so. And so now, you know, we can have the letters coming in, something like that. And if the letters aren't coming from the bottom of the composition, you can just increase that uh, y axis over there. So now I've got the letters coming in from the top and the bottom and I think that looks pretty cool. And so then what we're going to do is I'm just going to press U to highlight all my keyframes. I then am going to go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then I'm just going to make sure that I grab all of those and bring them over like that and then do the same for the other side. So now we'll have a bit of acceleration coming in and that will look pretty cool with the echo. So now once we've got that text, the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to layer, pre-compose, and I'm just gonna call it text uh, solid, press enter. And then you can see my project uh, settings over here. I'm just gonna create a duplication of that. So I'm gonna press command D for that. And I'm gonna rename the other one text stroke. So now I've got a solid and a stroke. So I'm just gonna put that down on top. I'm gonna go into my uh, text stroke settings to find my text. And then I'm just gonna hit this uh, little swap fill and stroke button over there. And now I've got the stroke for that side over there. So now it's looking pretty cool. So if I take that eye off, you can see I have the solid and the stroke together. And now what we need to do is we need to add the echo effect. So if I look up the echo effect, put it onto that stroke layer. So I'm just, you can see here what's actually happening here. You can see the echoes happening. So if I change this value to negative 0.003, and then if I increase the number of echoes to let's say 250 and reduce the decay to let's say 0.8, now you will see that now we have some echo effect going on these characters. And you can play around with some of these settings. For example, if you reduce the amount of echoes, it will change it all up and etc. So have a play around with some of those settings. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add a fill. So if I search for the fill effect 
and then if i go to color hunt so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that this one is going to be set on my solid layer so i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna put it in like that and then on my stroke layer i'm also going to add a fill effect but i'm going to change the color so i'm going to pick a lighter color so this one over here i'm just going to put that in there so it looks something like that now so that looks pretty cool and now what we can do is we can just finally dress it up so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and move it the playhead to about three seconds and then if i just trim that so now that I've got my playhead there at three seconds, I'm just going to highlight both layers. I'm going to hold option and then the brackets key, and I'm just going to trim it to three seconds, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-compose those. So if I go and call that final, now if I duplicate that by pressing command D, now I'll have two copies of that same animation but we want this one to be reversed. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on that and then go to time, time reverse layer. And now we will have the actual reverse of that animation. So that looks pretty cool, just like that. So the final thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So if I just right click add a new solid, Call it BG, all right, put it underneath. I'm gonna search for the effect called gradient ramp. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna choose that dark color over there. And then I'm gonna replace that white color over there. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. I'm gonna move the start of the ramp to the middle and the end of the ramp to the side over here. And then I'm just gonna swap the colors. So you can play around with how much kind of vignette uh, you want. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I am going to add an adjustment layer. So the first adjustment layer, I'll just put at the top. I'm just gonna add some curves to this. So I'll just maybe do a slight S bend just like that. And then the final adjustment layer is going to be adding noise. So if I add some noise onto here and let's bump that up to about 10%, now that will kind of tie everything else together. So the last thing that I added were the particles. So I'll put a link in the description for these particles and I'm just gonna move it over a bit. And all I did is I went to uh, change the mode and I changed it to screen. And now we have the particles there in the background. So cool, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video.